dog. You're getting a dog? Yeah, next week. Wow. Or two weeks. Big, big moves. Two or three weeks. Yeah, I got a lot going on. Big moves. Growing up. Oh, man, Growing I up. This, this tacoing of my shirt. Wow. Hello, hello. Hey, everybody. My hey. name is Mauro. And I'm Dan. And he's engaged. I am engaged. Hopefully. Ding. <laughs> yeah. This is either going to be um, a picture of me crying or us happily engaged. Yeah. You just pointed at the green screen. That's count one for, for Dan. We get three. We get three each? Yeah. I didn't know keep, that. Okay. No count. banter. Fuck. We're talking about... <laughs> Whoa. Harper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're talking about a giant prehistoric owl. Called the... I'm going to screw this up. <laughs> Ornamegalonyx. Oh, you got it. Ornamegalonyx. Ornamegalonyx? Ornamegalonyx. Ornamegalonyx. Mm. AKA the <laughs> Cuban giant owl, and it was a giant flightless owl, the largest that ever existed. Just picture an owl that's already terrifying. Multiply it by what four? It's significantly terms, bigger than you. Yeah, in terms of size. Uh the first remains were discovered by I'm gonna love saying this yeah, name. Of course you are. <laughs> Ugh, you're gross. Uh, Cuban paleontologist Oscar Paulino Arredondo de la Mata. Now, it was originally classified incorrectly, right? Hold on, in 1954, correct. Then yeah. it was, and I'm going to love saying this name because I'll be able to. Um, it was corrected by Pierce Broadcob. Yeah. Nailed uh, it. I'm going to go full circle. It was originally classified as a fossil from the terror bird family. No way. Yeah. So watch our terror bird episode. There we go. Um, Good callback. Yeah. Uh, it was, like you said, P- uh, Peace, Pierce. <laughs> Pierce. Pierce. Broadcob. Broadcob. I love that. That's yeah. a great name. Pierce Bronson, one of my favorite golden eyes. And by golden eyes, I, I think mean he's James the best. Bonds. I think he's the best. I think it's because we grew up with him. Yeah. No banter. Okay. Where were the remains found? Golden eye was a great game. So the remains were actually found in caves in Cuba. So because of it was a pretty tropical environment, it was tough to have preserved remains of these animals. And due to the fact that a lot of them ended up in caves hiding and waiting <laughs> hiding <laughs> um they actually found a ton of different um sets of skeletal structures yeah they found uh three complete three full ones yeah which is cool we didn't see that in the terror bird we didn't see that in uh, basically any other w- w- wiped out wednesday that we've done that yeah most of the things the, are like a tooth the titanoboa <laughs> they did i think no. Yeah, they, yeah, they did in Colombia. They, I a mean, they reconstructed one? a little yeah, it's bit. Re- they're mostly reconstructed, um, but they are one point one meters tall, aka three feet seven inches, and they weigh nine kilograms, aka twenty pounds. Now, which, yeah, you might say that's it, not heavy. Birds' bones are hollow. <laughs> they yeah. like birds are designed to be light. So remember that. And again, just to you know, for comparison, here is a bird, a regular bird, regular bird. Okay, and then the man, and then the giant cuban owl yeah that would that would come up to a little bit over my waist right now the cool thing about these guys is one hold on why were they so big insular gigantism oh going back little thing that i actually didn't realize so smaller animals means that there are a lot of predators yeah which means obviously because they can't get big enough to do that when you have these animals that are in isolated situation situations like islands and they don't have predators they get big Right. So when they are big, that means not much eats it. So if you see giant Especially animals. Especially when you're a giant bird. Like it's one thing to be a giant land animal. It is a giant land animal, yeah. but it's it's not super. It's not like you owls. They glide of, though. Mm, no, that's can the they thing. glide? They're not big flyers. Oh. So I, I thought they could glide from like a mountain and like, you know, swoop up. A, that's not what they did actually. Okay. So before we get into that. So interestingly, they were only found in Cuba. That's cool. That's it. That's the only place on Earth they found well, these guys. Well, it's like the, the Galapagos um, tur- tortoises. Yeah. They were only found in an island because it's secluded and, you know, they can't go anywhere. They're flightless. Yeah. So, But I feel like, I don't know, that's like the only animal in my mind that really stands out like that because, like, you know, Australia is a continent. It's a huge place. So the platypus being there on its own. There you go. Listen to our platypus episode for Monday. Being there on its own, though, and not being anywhere else makes sense because it's such a big place. But Cuba's not big. The Galapagos aren't big. Yeah, so it's so true. interesting that from like an evolutionary perspective, seeing that this little tiny place creates this giant Also, I feel owl. like they, they would have found more if yeah. they were just located in the island. You know, because I feel like Cuba is not... Like New York City, yeah, where but you've you got have... humidity, you've got lots of tiny right. animals, the you know different things happening. Yeah, humans. So humans. When did it live? Ah, uh, the Pleistocene. Moro's favorite, but place epoch, time. epoch. epoch. Um, the Pleistocene epoch. But they had a 
pretty short in terms of the fossils they found. In terms of you know geological time, they weren't alive. Yeah, they weren't around. Hundred and twenty six thousand years ago to only eight thousand years ago, which means people were around. People were around, and modern people were around throughout, like, like us kind of people. Yeah, Homo sap- sapiens were Homo around. Homo sapiens. Yeah, um, which is cool because all the fossils that we talk about in Wiped Out Wednesday is like eighteen twenty, yeah. seventeen forty five. This was the first. Rem- the first remains were found in 1954. I think my dad was alive during that's that. That's insane. Yeah, that's kind of how cool. did no one else come across these giant murder birds? I mean, hasn't Cuba kind of been like a bumpy situation oh, for yeah, a while? That's true. Oh, and this was 54. That's like Castro rain. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. So. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> how how did this get funded? How did that project get funded? I don't know. Probably the CIA. <laughs> So these guys were actually mostly flightless, um, which I found to be pretty cool. So they had these really large and powerful legs that they would use to crush their prey. Yeah. But they would they were ambush predators. So they would do one of two things. So they'd pounce from trees with their wings outstretched right before they got there and just grab them. Yeah, like uh, modern owls do that. Yes. Yeah. But they do that. But they swoop. really really high up. They yeah. swoop down. Yeah. They also would. They believe that they could fly. Basically, if they were pushed and they were scared yeah or they needed to get out of somewhere but like it was very very short bursts they were also really fast these like these that's the scary part so imagine almost a four foot tall owl and remember these Mm. these are basically dinosaurs they they with these modern crushing talons chasing you through the woods because owls are creepy they are have you seen owl legs Oh, Owls man. Gen- well, I think they're amazing animals. Oh, I, they're amazing. I think but... the Owl Barn is one of my favorite Instagram accounts. They're weird, though. Uh, yeah, but like the little... Yeah, and they just <laughs> turn around. Show like owls. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, so owls are amazing. These guys were ambush predators, and they would crush their prey with their little hands. And uh, what ate it? I'll tell you. We have no idea. <laughs> Um, it's Goose a small egg. island. Nothing. They are there are not that many predators in that island. This was a large bird that didn't fly. We don't know what could have ate it. Yeah. Um, they didn't find anything from the fossils. There's no fun cannibalism like we talked about in all no. the other animals. And there's nothing on Wikipedia. Um, either. It's also very recent. Think about an uh, a fossil that we know a lot of, like the the megalodon. They have been found are since the many? oh yeah since the, the Renaissance. Yeah. Like, you have that time to study this uh, extinct species. This was only found, what, 80, no, 70 years ago? Yeah. That's insane. 70 years ago, we found a giant bird, and we're going to learn more from it. And when we do, we're going to make another episode, right? Are we? I think so. All right. Well, what did it eat? Like, rodents and stuff? (laughs) <laughs> Mainly rodents. So we had. I feel like larger rodents back then. Yeah, you know? well, they had the capybara. Yeah. Ooh, um, they're big too. They are big. They yeah. had ground sloths. They would eat. Yeah. They had what were called cave rats. They would eat. Those were koi pu, which are delicious. What's koi pu? It's it's a it, it's like a capybara but but smaller. So like a guinea pig. Yeah, but it has the fur of a, so capybara. a gross guinea pig. I've 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 had those. Uh, what's what's guinea pig called? Poi. 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 Pui. Pui. Yeah. I've had that. That's yeah. a weird one. They bring them out fried. I'm like, yeah. mm, that looks like it had a friend. They're they're pretty delicious. <laughs> they are. I mean, look, you know, we're animals and animal. <sighs> uh, we're ambush predators. Like the uh, Are we? Yeah. Ambush predators? Yeah. I guess. Like the Ornithomegalonyx. Speaking of us <laughs> being ambush predators, when did it go extinct and how? I don't know, but I feel like we were involved. Nailed it. Um so basically they went extinct roughly 8,000 years ago, and it coincided with the arrival of human beings in Cuba. Which is not that long ago. No. so It's spo- like the Glyptodon that lived to 11,000 uh, 11, years Pleistocene's ago. Pleistocene's a pretty cool period. I told you. Epoch. Epoch. I told you. <sighs> so embarrassing. I told you. Th- I'm, I just is- forget it. I don't remember things. Right. We've done a lot. This is like our sixth or fifth Pleistocene episode. I do want to go back to the Devonian period. Oh, uh, the Devonian period. The, w- when fish were king. Dunkleosteus. I got my point in. Um, point. Boom. Yeah. Um, so that's, I have no names. I mean, science didn't reach out to me. It's been oh, a busy it's, week. It's probably a holiday. What? I don't know. Maybe they heard you were getting engaged and they didn't reach out. Oh, that's probably totally <laughs> what it is. Yeah. So, so there's me getting engaged. That's uh, if, my point. If Harper decides to draw this week and not slack like, like last week. Do you really um, get a 
call out a five year old. She's five. What does she have going on? It's my fault. She has a I lot of free send, time. I didn't send Kate the the list of animals for her to draw. She has free time to do it. I'm just saying. You, you don't know? know what her schedule is. Pull your weight. Um, <laughs> if she does, I'll put it up. If she doesn't, here's another funny thing like I did in the last video. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the Ornithomegalonics. Thank you for listening. Uh, hold on, the summary. Oh, just kidding. Ornithomegalonix, a giant Cuban prehistoric, not so prehistoric oh. owl uh, that was 1.1 meters and what nine these, kilograms. If you want to do the conversion, like most of the people listening do not know how to do those conversions. Other than well, Google I'm just again. doing the summary. Um, they went extinct 8,000 years ago, which means modern humans, maybe like the, I don't know, the Chinese or Egyptians were around to. To see them, or the at least the the Mesopotamians. About? Modern humans were around to see them. They're the reason they went extinct. Maybe, maybe I'm just saying. Maybe the Mesopotamians the were That's on so a Zoom call Cuba. with someone in Cuba, You're making things up. <laughs> None of this existed back then. Shout out to Zoom for holding communications down during the quarantine. I feel like people are so keep sick doing of it because that stock. Just gonna keep. Oh, you're invested in Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Um, do we have to give like a disclosure, advertiser disclosure? Yeah, this is not an advertisement. Moro is being compensated by Zoom. I'm not. I wish. Um, but yeah, I love this. This is the new structure. This was great to the point. Quick, boom, boom, pow. Got a lot of information, and you got to see a cool animal that is now wiped out. Why didn't you say it? That is now wiped, wiped out. How? <laughs> Yeah, Giant Owl wiped out. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations. Congratulate Dan in the comments for being an engaged Congratulate man. me below. Yeah, and uh, see you on... Oh, actually, we're not going to see you on Monday. We're going to put out a short little like surprise video. Yeah. Um, but we're going to be taking... You know, podcasters need some time to rest. So next week... we Especially are... when one of them is getting engaged. Yes. So um, it's his fault. We're going to be taking next week off. We're going to be skipping our audio episode as well as our video, but we'll be back the week after that. Um, so we'll see you in a week and, um, maybe we'll put out some fun blooper videos. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Like, subscribe, comment. Do all those things and that's it. I don't know. Roll the credits. Roll the credits. <laughs> that's, uh, that's our podcast. All right. Bye guys. Wow, 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 wow. Last word. Podcast ending. We still recording? Yeah. Yeah.